Hello, welcome to the race by race preview on the website for a huge day at Sha Tin on Sunday. There are some big names going around. There's a group one and the second leg of the four year old series as well. And the support card outside of that is just, just as good. And to preview it all, we're joined in the studio by Paul Lally. Hello, Paul. Yeah, hello, Mark. Um, look, it's some fantastic racing for out. Really looking forward to the Golden 60 versus Romantic uh, Warrior Clash. That's going to be an absolute pearler. There's a whole bunch of first starters as well. And some of them are quite interesting. I think they're, they're really good chances. Uh, some of them. It is a good jackpot, 4.6 million going into the triple trio as well. All right, so that's uh, what's coming up on Sunday. Dual course racing, we've got a few on the all weather and the rest on the A plus three turf course. We do kick off at the normal time for a Sunday meeting of one o'clock, and the first is an all weather 1650 metre class four. Amazing Teens has trialled since his last start. Third emerging has his second start in class four. Starfire Gems are wider draw. Nice birdie gets blinkers for the first time. Billionaire Secret up in trip from the 1400 to the 1650. Son of McPhee has placed five from eight course and distance. MM Nebula first goes 1650. Better draw for Green Laser. Fortune President and Smart Folks both eligible for class five. Begin of this race being an extended class four rating 60 to 35. And one of those runners, Paul Smart Folks, goes forward on the speed map, Starfire Gems. Fortune President, who won that trial, no luck for him. He, Keller Instinct and Billionaire Secret all out there three wide. Yeah, they look like they could be trapped wide, but uh, Smart Folks, he, he's a horse that does like to go forward, we know that. He's drawn a little bit wide, so I just think he's going to have to work a bit to get across, but he looks the likely leader in that. Got a replay coming up for you right now with a number of the runners in the first race going around. Son of McPhee not too far away. Amazing teens likewise. Killer Instinct runs on for second. And nice birdie. Paul has the blinkers going on. He did trial in them and thought only trialled fair. Yeah, uh, it's just a little bit of a query with him there. Uh, he will come up reasonably short too because uh, Zach Purden is aboard him, isn't it? So, look, I thought it was a really good race here from Killer Instinct. He hit the line really strongly. Uh, he's come onto the surface and, and he has run really well on it. So, just got uh, beaten by Sky Supreme, who uh, will race later in the card. And I think um, if the mob had gone the other way, he would have won. So uh, I quite like him in this. Blake Shin in town to ride Killer Instinct. That's the first of Blake's rides for the day. We've got some trial form now, Paul, and Luck Star. He was racing consistently on the all weather, just fair at his last two. But what have you made of this trial since? I thought the trial was OK. Um, he hit the line nicely enough. He comes back to the all weather, which is, which is a good thing for him. Uh, he's drawn nicely in barrier number five as well. So, look, it, it, I think this is a, quite an open race to, to finish off. You can see he wasn't really being moved on there, was he? So it was a nice enough try, and I think he does go better. Son of Zustar here on the surface. Beno Young on the dirt, he's having a terrific season, and uh, Matthew Chadwick rides him from barrier number five. And some more trial form here. Fortune President ends up winning this trial. He takes inside runs and was pushed out to do it. He's done nothing on race day. He hasn't, has he? But he hasn't been onto the surface before. And he's by more than ready. And we've seen a lot of these more than ready horses really perform well on the all weather. He's out of a shower heart mare. So there's just dirt pedigree right throughout him. If he does get the race run to suit, I wouldn't be surprised if he ran a race. And look, this is the best trial we've seen from him. He was pushed out, but he won it well enough. He has finished as close as anything on in his only 1650 metre start at the Valley, he was beaten four lengths behind perfect to grade. All right, uh, all weather to get us underway, who do you like? Yeah, I'm going to go with Killer Instinct. I think he's ready to win. It was just beaten on the bob last time. The horse is going really well at the moment, so he's on top. Fortune President, uh, the one we just saw in the trial. The other thing I didn't mention, which you, you did mention there, was the, the step up and trip. 1650, his best run was over that longer trip, and uh, I think the, the 1650 is good for him. Amazing Teens is uh, having his third start now here in Class 4, and the last two runs have been uh, pretty uh, pretty good, especially the third at his last start. And Green Laser, look, he's just going to map really well and put himself into the race and he'll get his opportunity. So 5, 13, 1 and 11. They are Paul's selections for race number one. In the first, it's uh, on the all-weather and it's over the 16.50 and gets underway at 1 o'clock.